Matt Canning, BodybuildingPro.com. We are here at the 2013 Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Here at the Mutant Booth, here with Canadian amateur bodybuilder Matt Sinkering. Matt, we spoke last at the 2010 Olympia. You had just come off a win in the light middleweight class, which was an incredible look for you at 170 pounds. Then we didn't hear about you the next year, but then fast forward to 2012, you came sixth in the middleweight class. Now tell us a little bit about that show. You did great in light middleweight. You went up a class, didn't do so well. Tell us about that contest. Yeah, so in 2010, I uh, did my first uh, national show. Uh, and I got first place in the light uh, middleweight class. Uh, so that was an awesome show. Uh, the first time I worked with the coach, uh, my coach Franco Savino uh, from Saskatoon, and uh, we worked together and I, I had a flawless prep and, and I won my class and then uh, uh, came back in 2011, I was gonna do uh, the show in Montreal, the Canadian Nationals, and three weeks into my prep, I got super sick. I, I got a virus and I, so I was out for that, for that season. And for the rest of 2011, I, I couldn't train properly. I, I went down to 185 pounds in my off season, so that's, that's small for me. So uh, I was totally, that was a write-off for 2011. So then I came back in 2012 and uh, started my prep. And uh, I got sick again going into it, but I said, screw it, I'm gonna just fight through it. And uh, decided to compete. I wasn't at my best condition. Uh, I did, so I did the Elite Show in Vancouver. Uh, that was a new uh, class they came out with where they give you a, a, a pro card. And uh, so I did that. I did the up to 185 class. And uh, I came in at 170. I just focused on coming in condition. And then all the other guys in that class were at 185. They're at the top of the class. So I was the smallest guy in the class. Uh, so it didn't work out for me. I got fourth place in that show. And uh, so I said, okay, I'm going to go to Edmonton and do Canadian Nationals. And um, I did that show. I put, uh, came in at 175 for that show, uh, and I got sixth place. Uh, I wasn't happy with that. I think I should have placed higher. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but uh, I just got to move on and stay focused, stay uh, positive, and uh, we'll come back in 2014. Uh, I'm taking this year off. I'm not competing, and uh, I'm just going to focus on getting bigger. Uh, I'm 222 right now, and I want to probably by the end, uh, over the next 12 months, uh, go up to 235, 240, and then I'll diet down from there and uh, probably go into the, the light heavyweight class in 2014 for nationals. So that's kind of my game plan right now. So, What's the biggest you might expect to compete at? I mean, you're still getting bigger, so we don't have to assume that you'll be one in the 180s or 170s forever. How, where do you ultimately see yourself end up? Well, I, wanna, I definitely want to turn pro, and I want to compete in the 212 class, but um, for my structure, for my bone structure, I think I'll probably be... At my peak, probably around 200 shredded. If I can get to that, that's that would be my goal in the end, to be uh, to be a competitive bodybuilder at two, 200 pounds shredded. Is for my structure, my my waist, and uh, having a small waist, I'll look bigger than 200 pounds. So that would probably be where I'd want to be for that weight. Yeah. I've seen you here at Mutant now for three years. That's only been with the company. It's been going super well. Tell me a little bit about your time with the company, not just in front of the camera, but all, at the expos, but behind the scenes. Yeah, so I, I started working with Mutant uh, three years ago, uh, 2010. Uh, their head office is here. I was in Vancouver, Canada. And uh, so I, I moved down and I uh, uh, started working in their office there. They have a, a huge, huge headquarters in Vancouver. They have a manufacturing plant, uh, warehouses and uh, head office and so I'm located in the head office and I oversee all the online marketing and I also do all the athletes relations and so I get to know I'm not only am I a sponsored athlete but I also work behind the scenes with all the other athletes and uh, I do all the online social media I, I, you know the YouTube page the Facebook fan page all those posts that you see that's me doing those posts so uh, and, uh, most people know that in general but a lot of people don't realize that that's uh, I'm not just an athlete, I'm also working for the company. So, um, and it's cool, it's an awesome position. There's lots of opportunity, and I get to meet so many people, so many fans, I get to go to all the shows. So, uh, no, things are good. Mutant is, is really taking off now. We're just now starting to expand into the, into the U.S. market. And, uh, you know, things just like our YouTube page, right now we're, we're number two in, out of the top 10 supplement companies for a number of subscribers and number of views uh, on our YouTube page which is unheard of for, for a company to come up that fast. So whatever we're doing with you know, the videos with Rich and the other athletes, it's working because the fans are they're coming, they're coming to watch our videos and they're leaving great comments and 
it's just uh, mutant is really starting to take off and just w this wait for uh, you know the next coming years things are just going to explode for us and uh, it's awesome I'm, and I'm glad I'm uh, here to go for along with the ride so it's just uh, it's a great opportunity I follow the Facebook page and on YouTube I did notice yeah almost 10 million views which as you said it's unheard of it, only muscle techs uh, beating you uh, at the moment and that might not last forever so tell me a little bit about the difference between advertising and uh, promoting the company on YouTube and on the internet versus uh, the, the print magazines yeah I think uh, with like what we're doing especially with uh, with Rich Piana uh, it's more of a lifestyle it's more of a hardcore bodybuilding lifestyle that we're just we just take a camera we go to his house and we just started filming and people got kind of addicted to his just being open being truthful about his lifestyle and you know he's got the tattoos he's all hard he's a hardcore looking bodybuilder and i think the the fans are are connecting to that and um the, and the fact that he just speaks the truth that's the one of the, the main things he's not just it's not about marketing and the promotion and the supplements it's more focused on the athlete so i think that's kind of what what's appealing to people and uh we're gonna you're gonna see a lot more of that uh uh, more another season's coming out of Rich too, so we're going to do some uh, work with Ron uh, Partlow and uh, Ronaldo Gary. So we got a lot, a lot more coming out. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Now you said that we're going to see you next competing in 2014. So as far as your future, both with the company and in contests, just uh, if you could close with a little bit about that, tell us where we're going to find you in the company next. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, 2014, I'll come back and compete at Canadian Nationals, and uh, you know, with the company, uh, it, there's a lot of room for growth you know we're expanding into the state so i'm just excited to be along for the ride with mutant and uh it's an awesome environment to work in you know uh, so many guys would would give anything just to be in the position that, that i am that you know i'm sponsored but i also get to work for the company and see the, all the behind the scenes stuff that you know the average uh consumer doesn't get to see and uh it's just a great opportunity and it's exciting to go into work every day and and hear all the comments and the emails from the fans that we get every day hundreds and hundreds of emails we get every day from you guys so and we love it and uh, we wanted to uh, keep sending them in and uh, uh, keep being active on our fan page and our YouTube page and uh, we love giving back to the fans we do a lot of contests on our fan our, our Facebook fan page and uh, we're at all the shows where we have samples that we give away at the shows it's all about the, the it's all about the fans you know so that's one thing uh, Mutant really prides itself on is, is giving back to the customer. So, yeah. Mutant is actually always one of the booths I look forward to coming to see at the expos. It's a lot of activity here. You have chin-up contests to win, to win Mutant Mass and, and different and protein from the company. So it's, a, it's always an exciting booth with a lot of activity going on and a lot of really big guys who, are, who actually are in shape and don't, aren't afraid to wear a tank top. You'd be surprised. A lot of guys at the Arnold Classic, even the Arnold Classic, even the Olympia, will not actually wear a tank top. Yet at Mutant, you, you always see guys that are in shape and, that, and aren't afraid to show it. That's very important. And that's part of the reason, I think, maybe one of the bigger reasons why they're growing so well, as well as their Facebook and their YouTube channel, which I highly recommend you check out. Uh, YouTube for Mutant is about to hit 10 million views. They're at over 100,000 uh, subscribers on, on uh, likes on the Facebook page as well, so they're doing really well. And uh, Matt's looking great, big, better than ever. So. I like to mention too, with the, the whole brand of Mutant, you know, a lot of guys see like some of our athletes are huge, like Rich Piana, they're like 300 pounds, and then you got athletes like me that are you know 220 pounds, or you got John Aiello that's you know 230 pounds. You know, we're not 300 pounds, and people say, well, you know, why are they part of Mutant? They're not like these huge 300 pound bodybuilders. Well, it's all about the aspect. You know, you look at the definition of what Mutant is. It's extreme. You know, you have something unique about you, a characteristic, whether you're super vascular or you're super shredded or you got huge biceps, something that makes you a mutant or a super mutant. That's what uh, the culture of our, our brand is. It's not just all 300 pound guys because we're not all going to be that big, you know, but we can work to try and be that big and we can uh, all, each have the kind of the conception of trying to be a mutant or trying to be a super mutant. So, yeah, we're going to have guys on our team that are. 300 pounds plus and you're gonna have guys on our team that are under 300 pounds and you know you, you've got to give respect to all the athletes and and uh, that's just something I just wanted to get out there a lot of people just think oh you know you're not 300 pounds why are you a part of the team well we're part of the team because we bring something unique and something different uh, uh, to the brand and thank you Matt for explaining the niche market that uh, that mutant has targeted thank you very much everybody here at the 2013 Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic in Columbus Ohio at the mutant booth with Matt Sinkering for bodybuildingpro.com Thank you. Thanks, Matt.